Hi everyone, it's Christina Martini back off the mat into the kitchen and I'm still enjoying um, some creations with the tropical Hawaiian mangoes that grows here in Maui. So I've been posting a lot about the Hayden mangoes and just how amazing they are. And these are the baby ones that are not quite ripe, but they're still usable. So I mentioned um, that I love pickling and that pickling is so good for you because it has a lot of vitamins such as your um, fermentation for probiotics to the gut. And being that mango is a superfood or one of the superfoods, it's nice to complement and blend this fruit um, with a nice um, pickling with some garlic, apple cider vinegar, and Hawaiian chili pepper, and perhaps a little dash of black pepper as well. So here, I was going to go ahead and show you um, how you could pickle some of the unripe mangoes that you get and not quite just be disappointed with them because they do make a great appetizer on the table um, that will go like a chutney in some dish, right? Compliments well. You can even use the green um, mangoes that's not quite ripe to also make like a good um, salsa. I'm not sure if you know that, but it's great because it's already got some acid um, to it like lime and lemons would do. And in this case, you can even perhaps just use that to create the tartness of your salsa. But today, I'm just gonna show you how I pickle my mango. So basically, this is what an unripe Hayden mango looks like. Very beautiful and green. Um, so definitely gonna be slicing that. I just took off the middle part where the seeds are. It's quite breezy here today in Maui, but it's gorgeous, it's refreshing, it's cool, and just enjoying some free time and relaxation time in the kitchen. You know, spending time in the kitchen is so nice. It's like meditation. It's the same as being off the mat, like I said, off the yoga mat and into the kitchen. You find mindfulness and you find creativity and you just feel so free and happy that you could create something good for your nourishing soul and your nourishing body and mind. One of the greatest ways to do that is to definitely plan for your meals so that you can avoid um, just settling for unhealthy, very quick bites like processed foods, right? And just going through the motion. If you plan ahead of time, then you get this moment to enjoy your um, nourishment and what you're gonna be eating. I'm on the last one. I'm just gonna pickle three mangoes. That's all I have left. The others turned ripe already and I enjoyed making some special dishes with those and um, some nice drinks and smoothies and juices this um, past week um, but today this is the remaining of the unripe mangoes that I actually bought for a purpose because like I said I like pickling them because they're good for you and this will last for a few actually maybe the whole week in the refrigerator and it'll even taste better and better and better so I used a peeler um, instead of using the knife so I don't waste a lot of the meat and this is Hmm, what mango, young mango looks like. Aren't they beautiful? They taste delicious. <laughs> so anyways, um, so this is what I'm gonna do. I've got my mason jar. This is my amazing Hawaiian chili pepper, which once I touch this, I have to beware not to touch my eyes because these are tremendously hot. And usually um, you just need to be mindful. So I got about two or three from the garden and it's in my mason jar, as you can see right here. And then I have my apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna do about, oh, perhaps around there. That's about a cup, by the way, <laughs> if you really wanna have measurements. I love Bragg's, 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 Bragg's. Apple cider vinegar is good for you. Hmm, did I take my shot today? Let's try. Oh, so awakening. <laughs> so anyways, um, let me put that there. Now, here's a mango 
And yesterday we were talking about how there's a seed in the middle or my other post yesterday, if you're watching it. So basically the bone is in the center and I took the cheeks and I'm just gonna cut lengthwise here. And again, I have to be careful not to touch my face. So I'm just cutting them in about that long and we're going to place them in the jar for pickling. In Guam, when I, well, remember I'm in Maui now, but when I was growing up in Guam, we pickled a lot of mangoes. I also climbed a lot of trees to get the mango, which I miss. <laughs> I bet I could still do that now, being that, um, you know, I can climb trees better, because guess what? I've been practicing yoga. <laughs> Oh my gosh, some days you just have to live life and be happy with everything that surfaces to your day, such as mangoes and pickling. I truly enjoy the kitchen. I think it's a great relief for stress and also it's a nice way to kind of just get in tune with your body, reconnect with your passion and maybe reflect too of what's really important in such as your diet. You know, um, I like to meal prep for the week. So definitely this is going to last me this whole week. Um, as you can see, this is the, the unripe mango. It's already starting to turn a little yellow, but the green part is the best. And again, I'm just placing them all in the jar. I'm telling you, this is delicious. Guess you can even add ginger to this if you wanted to pickle your ginger with this. Uh, but I'm gonna be happy with just this one. So, all right, last one. Oh, this is even more green. Look at that. No sign of yellow, which is even better. And once you leave this in the refrigerator, um, the sweetness, the sourness of the mango begins to blend with the Hawaiian chili pepper and of course the apple Bragg's vinegar and creating this amazing probiotic to your gut. And first of all, mango is so good for you because it's got vitamin C, vitamin B6, it has folate, I don't know if you knew that. It's a superfood, so um, it's got some good stuff to clean your gut also. So again, that's why we're doing this, right? Because we want some probiotics in our body. Oh, wow. So look, we can experiment a little bit. So this is um, the mango and I'm about to open. And this is, oh, look at that, a mango seed. Wow, that's so cool. I don't know if my camera is good or not, but it looks so bright because it's so sunny out here. <laughs> Wow, that's the mango seed. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, I'm gonna save that. I think that's a good thing. So, anyhow, let me just try this. I have to remember I have peppers in my hand. Mmm, I love sour mangoes. Oh, I just love sour stuff. It's just so good for you. Mmm. Ooh, I could taste my finger from the pepper there. Oh boy, very spicy. All right. Let me get back on track because I get distracted very easy. you think I'd be focused on huh, from yoga, but yoga makes me become youthful. So, shake it up. Wow, look at that. After a few days, this would be so delicious. And I might just ask you, hey, what's in your jar today? I hope that you breathe well, eat well, and live well. How about some pickled mangoes and a Hawaiian chili pepper? So, aloha everyone. Namaste. Stay peaceful, stay happy, because mango season is here. <laughs> Namaste.